Welcome to another Argicum video. Finally, the one, the new, the long-awaited Raspberry Pi camera module V3, well sorry, it's called the Raspberry Pi High Quality Camera. I know many of you are super excited about this product, but you are probably still waiting. Guess what? Argicum has tested this camera and will answer five of the most asked questions in this video. Can it capture infrared? Why are the $25 lens only 3MP? Can you use it on the Jetson Nano? Does it support HDR and 4K video? How to use a smaller M12 lens for drones? Let's check it out. Popular as the new high-quality camera is, most people still know little about it. As one of the top players in the Raspberry Pi camera market, Argicom has received a lot of questions from our users about the new high-quality camera, let's get through the major issues one by one. Basically, there are two ways to capture infrared, you either buy a no-IR camera module, or buy a lens without IR cut-off filter for interchangeable lens camera. Those are not the case for the high-quality camera, because it does not come with a no-IR version, and its IR filter is not on the lens, but the main housing. So there are also two ways to hack the high-quality camera for no-IR. The first is to remove the filter following the official guidance, but would expose the sensor to dust and void your warranty. The second is to replace the main housing with another lens holder, but with this strange hole spacing at around 24 to 25 mm, you'd better 3D print one yourself. To conclude, there is no out-of-box experience for no IR applications like the V1 V2 cameras offer. You will have to wait for the third-party manufacturers to build customized high-quality no IR cameras if you want an easy way out. The officially recommended CS mount lens has a 3MP mark on the top, which is a controversial pick that annoys many customers. However, that is an unavoidable concession for the balance, and that mark will not limit your 12-megapixel camera to 3-megapixel picture quality. Before we discuss the 3MP issue, we have to keep in mind that the CS mount lens is mainly used in security cameras for video surveillance, which is usually in 720p, 1080p or 2K. So here is some simple math. 3MP means it's capable of handling 2K video recording, which is pretty decent in this way. If you want a lens with much higher resolution, go with C-mount lenses, and a 12-megapixel C-mount lens is about 10 times the price of the high-quality camera module itself, and I assume that's only for the higher-end applications. Besides, the 3MP mark does not make your camera shoot 3MP pictures, you can still get better picture quality with higher resolution sensors on the same lens. The Jetson Neno is released with the native support of Raspberry Pi Camera V2, so if you assume that the latest high-quality camera may also work with the Neno, you are wrong, because there is no driver for it. But you are also correct, thanks to the engineers at Argicom, it's happening. The Argicom Project Jet variety uses a single-kernel camera driver to support different camera modules on the Jetson Neno, so does the new IMX477 high-quality camera. You can see from this video that we've already managed to get it up and running on the Jetson Nano, isn't that exciting? Unfortunately, the Raspberry Pi Video Core 4 GPU Core's ISP was designed many years ago, and there are no big improvements in the past few years, so it is sad to find out that it doesn't support the HDR feature of IMX477. For the same reason, the H.264 encoder only supports 1080p at 30fps, which is a little bit outdated compared to the mainstream H.265 4K at 30fps. We've heard many complaints from drone users that the CS or C mount lens will be too bulky for their applications, and they want a smaller lens, preferably M12 lenses as they've used before with Argicom IMX219 series. For now, the best solution is a CS mount to M12 mount adapter, which will at least allow you to accommodate an M12 lens on the high-quality camera module. However, even if you've successfully mounted the M12 lens on the camera, it does not mean it will work without issues. 
The smaller M12 cameras offer a smaller lens optical format, which could be insufficient to cover the whole image sensor area, leading to dark unexposed pixels around the corners. If you are not clear about this, learn from this page about how should the lenses and sensors match. That's all for this video, and we've covered the 5 frequently asked question about the latest 12M Pier Raspberry Pi high quality camera. Is there anything you want to know or want Argicom to do about the Raspberry Pi high quality camera? Please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.